Dave Mooring. I am the full-time mechanical engineering instructor. Um, basically teach all the classes associated with uh, mechanical engineering. So print reading, uh, static strengths, uh, fluid mechanics class, uh, manufacturing processes class. Um, I've been doing this for about six years now. Yeah, so um, after high school, I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do, so uh, I knew I liked working with things. I knew I was all right with math, so I just decided to give uh, engineering a try. So I came out to Northwest State, uh, got my associates in mechanical engineering. Uh, after I got that, I went and found a job. I uh, worked at a plastics plant for a year, but knew I wanted to continue my education. So I started looking and I found a uh, entry-level engineering job at Automatic Feed Company in Napoleon, Ohio. Um, I was what they call a detailer. I'd take parts make prints so that they could get shipped out and get made. Uh, while I was doing that full time, I took night classes uh, at the University of Toledo. Uh, a lot of my credits transferred over. Um, I was able to take a few, what they call the uh, transfer module, sorry. So I took some transfer module classes here and then started taking night classes at the University of Toledo. Uh, while I was doing that, I eventually progressed into a mechanical uh, design engineer's role at Automatic Feed. Uh, basically, for anybody who's worked uh, automotive-related uh, industry in 2008, when the auto industry uh, basically had companies filing for bankruptcy, uh, Automatic Feed slowed way down like many companies around, so I um, thought it'd be time to just see what else was out there, what other options were available to me. Um, so I did an interview here at Northwest State and ended up getting the position as full-time mechanical engineering faculty. Uh, as far as helping me out as an instructor, uh, I'd say Colin Doolittle has done a lot. He's definitely uh, got a lot of energy, motivated, likes working with the students. Uh, Dan Berkelo, who is the dean, uh, who was formerly the uh, mechanical engineering uh, instructor before me. Uh, he, I got a lot of um, sample you know, classes, talk to him a lot about what classes to take or how to, you know, teaching, how to teach, what uh, material to teach, uh, and that sort of thing. I think uh, my professional experience, as far as it goes with the classroom, I bring that into the classroom a lot. I, uh, a lot of the stuff that I teach is things that I used to do at Automatic Feed, a lot of the calculations, a lot of the so I can bring in relevant examples, I can talk about things that I've seen out in the field. I've done a lot of, uh, been to a lot of different plants all over the world, GMs, Chrysler, Ford plants, and I can bring some of that experience into the classroom. So instead of just reading what the book says to them, I can actually talk about uh, my professional career, uh, some of the different things that we've run into, problems we've had, how we solve those problems. Uh, some of the things I've picked up from students uh, as I've been an instructor, just kind of the willingness to learn, to want to understand um, what's happening out there. I think uh, that's the other thing that really kind of helps tie it together is that they realize that I have done this professionally. So I will get, well, I've actually had some students who are you know, working as entry-level engineer or intern and will come ask me questions. Hey, we got this problem at work. You got any ideas or, su or suggestions to solve those problems? So um, my professional background definitely gets the students, I guess, more engaged with me, especially if they have problems that they're trying to you know, work through at work and on their homework. I guess the other thing I'd like, um, I guess my experience here is uh, I enjoy working with the students. Um, it's definitely been uh, interesting, something new every day as far as you know the different questions you get from the students, uh, being able to interact, uh, listening to kind of the, like I said the students, um, some of their uh, things that they're running into at work from a, a design um, standpoint. I also get um, a lot of other, you know, I was mostly working with automotive um, industries, so some of the students, like I said, in the higher level um, classes who are doing internships at, say, GM, you know, talking with them about some of the, the situations that they're having.